Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So uh, welcome to your readings for the month of October 2018. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and returning if you are doing so. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And because these are general readings, the energies can be switched. They can go either way. So just take it as it resonates for your specific situation. And if, does, if something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit because then that will only confuse you. Yeah. Um, I do want to extend a very happy birthday to all of the Libras, since in the Western system, we are in Libra season. Happy, very, a very happy birthday to you and a very happy birthday to the October Scorpios. Yes, because we will be moving into your season in late October. Now, if you are you, if you resonate more with the Eastern system, of which I do personally, then we are still technically in Virgo season. So very happy birthday to the Virgos out there that resonate with the Eastern system. Yeah. Um, if you don't know which side you resonate with more, uh, I have provided some links in the description box below. If you like, you can go to those links and you can put in your birth uh, data and calculate your, your birth chart for both the Western and the Eastern system and see which one you resonate with. For me personally, I grew up believing I was a Taurus sun, but then when I started investigating and learning about Eastern astrology, I learned that I'm actually an Aries sun and that kind of fits a lot better. I resonate with that much more. There is no absolute answer as to which system it's, is better. It's really all about what you resonate with the most. And of course, depending on no matter which side you're on, still watch the videos. They can resonate at whichever, in whichever way is best for you. Okay. That is all your decision. Either way, the readings are here for you to watch. Yeah. So, um, just a little bit of shop talk. I am available for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can get my email address from the description box below, as well as a list of all of the readings that I offer. Um, if you cannot decide which reading would work best for you after going through the different options, you're still welcome to email me and we can chat a little bit about what is going on with your situation and I will help you decide which reading would be best for you. Yes. I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. If you would like to schedule a time to meet with me and have an in-person reading, in -person reading for face to face, you can find the link to the website for Om Shanti in the description box below. And once you get to the website, you will find their phone number. You are encouraged to give a call and let them know if you would like to book a reading ahead of time. Otherwise, walk-ins are 100% absolutely welcome. Just come on down whenever you have a chance. Yeah. For the readings this month, we're doing the same as we did as last month. So we're go using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, you guys. It's so pretty. And then, of course, we're finishing out with my best friends, the unicorns. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So... I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to the readings, guys. <laughs> Hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading for October 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get to it, shall we? <clears throat> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Leo for the month of October 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Leo. Let's get shuffled here and see what we've got for you. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo, 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 for October 2018. Leo. Okay, one more shuffle for you, Leo. Cut the deck. Get in there. And we'll see what we've got. Yeah? Boop. Okay. Leo. 
overall energy. We're starting you off with the Six of Wands. All right, Leo. Victory. Now, this is very much your energy in this card, okay? Um, even though, you know, this, yeah, this is your reading, um, you, you're just, you can be very pretty prideful, um, very much in the spotlight, the public eye, a lot of recognition, but I just feel like you're, you're, there's a victory here for you in some way. There's really a victory coming towards you. Woohoo! You've got the King of Cups. You've also got the Eight of Cups and you've got the Five of Wands here. All right, so what's going on here? Well, victory is at hand. Um, I really feel like there is either someone you're connecting with, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have Cancer in your chart. You could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. Um, but there's someone here that's either very much in love with you, attracted to you, is very has a, a very emotionally connected to you and is trying to come forward towards you, or this could be your energy, okay? You could be uh, very much in that space. There is an energy of walking away from something, however. I feel like this is an energy of walking away from one relationship um, that was not exactly what you thought it would be didn't exactly turn out to be what you wanted, okay? Um, very much an, an energy of, you know, you had your eight cups stacked here, but it didn't quite reach the 10. So now you're on your way out to find that two of cups to complete that 10 potentially, okay? And I feel like you're gonna be victorious about it. Now, there is some conflict here, all right? Um, it, this could also be competition. Okay, you could be dealing with someone that might maybe has a number of options. Uh, maybe you you know you're you're going after someone where there are other people going after them as well, or you know you might have multiple people coming towards you. Um, there also could be inner conflict around the situation um, and how to approach the situation. Maybe um, there could be I don't know comments from the peanut gallery about, you know, why are you going in this, dir this direction, blah, 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 blah. Who knows? Because the five of wands tends to be my peanut gallery card, but we'll see as things go on. For the first half of your month, the surrounding energies, the first set of those, we have the page of wands. Okay, so this is a message. This is a passionate message. This is someone um, who is sending a, a, a message of passion, of... Um, could be lustful, but I'm getting an energy of someone who is very sure of themselves, very someone that is um, aware of who they are, who they are, and what they want, and they're going after it. This could very well be this King of Cups energy here. Okay, the and this also could be your energy, Leo, as a fire sign. Could be another fire sign, Aries or a Sagittarius. Page of Wands is coupled with aha, the Two of Cups. So yeah. Yeah, Leo, there, this is either you or someone else that's coming towards you very sure of themselves, knowing exactly what they're wanting, and obviously, or apparently, they want you. <laughs> um, for some reason, they feel like you could really fulfill something for them, okay? At, at the same time, this could be you. All right, Leo? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month, you've got the world, completion, and ending. Okay, um, but I'm really getting completion here. Like this could be a partnership that really completes things for you and allows you guys to step out onto something new, a new life, a new expression of existence, something like that. The world is coupled with the four of cups. All right, so um, I'm feeling an energy of if there was... Um, if there was a bit of hesitance, if someone was coming forward and, you know, trying to get an, trying to make an offer, trying to, you know, go out on a date or something like that, and there was hesitance to it, someone was like, mm, I'm not really sure, I don't really know, well, that could be coming to an end here. Okay, someone could actually be accepting this offer at this point, okay? That's not so bad. Mm -hmm. The current challenge for the first half of the month, you've got the Seven of Wands, defensiveness, boundaries, okay? Okay. Seven of Wands is coupled with 
<laughs> the five of pentacles. So <laughs> if someone's trying to make an offer, if someone's trying to come forward and there's defensiveness here, it could be leaving them feeling out in the cold. But that's just the challenge. The challenge is to get past the boundaries. And sometimes that just takes time, perseverance, persistence, okay? But also the challenge is not is is to not be too defensive, not being too guarded, okay? Um, because now overcoming some sort of guardedness because of feeling let uh, feeling left out in the cold, neglected, taken advantage of in the past, okay? That could also be what's coming to an end, what's currently in the process of coming to an end here. Feeling neglected, feeling taken taken for granted. Or if you're coming out of a relationship, maybe you left the other person feeling taken for granted or um, unappreciated in some way. And now moving forward, there may be some sort of guardedness or defensiveness against this, but the challenge is to let that go, all right? The potential outcome for the first half of the month, strength. Here you are, Leo. This is one of your cards. Um, the other card could be the sun, but uh, this is definitely one of your cards here. So the, um, the potential outcome is strength, okay? Uh, that's coupled with <laughs> the ace of wands. So having the strength to either accept this offer or extend this offer, having the strength to start fresh, okay? This is very much Leo energy. This is very fiery energy with strength in the Ace of Wands here. Okay, this is... this the, the, the potential outcome is having the strength to accept the offer, and then on the other side is having the strength to accept. I'm sorry, the, the strength to um, offer, put forth the offer and the strength to accept it, okay? For the second half of the month, the surrounding energies, you have the Hierophant. This could be commitment. Um, this could also be a Taurus that you might be connecting with. The Hierophant is coupled with commitment, Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is, this is in the works here, guys. Uh, and it's not a bad thing. This is pretty good. This is pretty, pretty good. The second set of surrounding energies for the second half of the month, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, divine timing, okay? So I'm not going to say that this commitment is, active, is, is absolutely going to happen right here, right now in the second half of the month. It's entirely possible, but there could be, you could just be setting the stage for it for in the second half of the month, and then karma is pulling things together in divine timing, all right? But the Wheel of Fortune is coupled with, aha, the Eight of Pentacles. So this is putting in the hard work to make something last over time. This is putting in the hard work to not only keep the Wheel of Fortune, well, to not only put the Wheel of Fortune in motion to work to turn in your favor, but to keep it going that way. Okay, so I'm really getting an energy of both parties here really putting in the work to keep the good flow, the good karma coming forward, okay? That's excellent. The challenge for the second half of the month, you have the hanged man. So there could be some sort of isolation, okay? There could be some sort of situation in which people need to see things from a different point of view. But it could also be seeing things differently in a period of some sort of isolation. Maybe you guys make this connection, but you're not really able to express it as much as you would like. Um, but that ultimately will help you see things differently should you need to. The, hang, the hanged man is coupled with, woo, the devil. But this is actually, okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn here. But this is actually exactly what I was picking up on, okay? This is seeing the truth through the illusion. This could be going through some sort of tumultuous period in which fears, anxieties, triggers are coming up, but you're being, in, but there's enlightenment coming through with that, okay? That's, and it's interesting because this is in your challenge position, and this is really something that I'm seeing as something that's really going to clear the path for the relationship to really blossom. I feel like you guys are going to be challenged with certain things that you need to get through at first that's really going to help the relationship in the long run, okay? 
All right. The potential outcome for the second half of the month, you got the Page of Pentacles. So there is that offer. There is that, that commitment there. Okay, you started out with the surrounding energies for the second half of the month of some sort of commitment with the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups. And now your potential outcome is that commitment or that offer coming through, okay? The Page of Pentacles is coupled with the Nine of Pentacles. So someone making an offer to someone who is single and making them not so single anymore, <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, that's... That's great, Leo. That's a really, really, really nice message. Okay. Cool. So let's get into the Oracle Guidance for you for October from the Unicorns. Let's see what we've got for you for the month of October for Leo, October 2018. What do you got for us, unicorns? Leo. Uh, there we go. Ooh, more. Okay. Cool. So we've got three cards here. First one, growth. This card has been coming out for a lot of the different signs um, this month. Seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others, okay? This is really allowing, I really feel like this is allowing a relationship to really grow on its own time, okay? Doing the work to allow the situation to grow over time. Putting in the effort to reap the benefits of the good karma, okay? You also have miracles have faith that your miracle is on its way your prayers have been answered surrender the how go with the flow leo go with the flow and finally you've got wow <laughs> beloved prepare for your life partner romance is returning to your relationship believe you are lovable and what was i saying here for the second half of your month you've got an offer of commitment coming in. That's the surrounding energies for the second half of the month. And the potential outcome, an offer to someone who is very single and independent. Oh my. My, my, my. Well, isn't that just lovely, Leo? Good for you guys. Okay, Leo, so there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of November. Yeah, much love. Take care. Mwah. Bye.